grow bags we are growing cherry tomato we are growing bell pepper we are growing musk melon we are growing cucumber we are growing big tomato and uh, bell pepper of course we are growing so these are the things now laying out the grow bag system in hydroponic you don't need to worry about it how to set up hydroponic system in a grow bag we will tell you everything so that you don't need any help only thing is you will have to supervise it your unskilled labor will be able to do it now this is we will show you also when you set up bricks why we have set up bricks below number one is that for the leachate to grow and also to give a bit of good space to the grow bag on the bottom side otherwise grow bags are almost airtight when you keep them like this now when you lay out the bricks bricks is the cheapest some people are laying out blocks also some people are laying compressed blocks also but they are very costly the brick is 14 rupees 7 rupees one brick 7 rupees one brick so you get 14 rupees you know bricks per grow bag now we will keep on adding how to determine the cost per grow bag also so when you lay out the bricks you lay two bricks like this and one brick like this this is called a header bond and this is called a stretcher bond in case of machinery so you lay out one header one stretcher one header one stretcher one header one stretcher like this the bricks then the between the two lines the distance is 110 centimeter okay we know that it is comfortable to work in 110 centimeter so 110 centimeter and from outer edge of this brick to outer edge of this brick and between the two brick there is a distance of two inches so this we will be able to show you also lay it also and our man will how to lay it in a very fast way so like this you lay the rows 110 meter apart with like this this we will practically also do there now then you lift the header bond you take the header bond out now some people say between the grow bag it will be four inches how to do that four inches you can't measure every time so now when you lift the bricks in between so these are all four inches apart same so many grow bags same distance between the two they look nice so this is what they will look like this the brick structure then you put the grow bag onto that fill them properly and then place it on that okay so you can place then setting up a drip irrigation in the grow bag there are two ways to set up drip irrigation one is through the manifold one is directly into the grow bag both are equally good but we made a mistake and this is one thing i want to tell you that we made a mistake we made a mistake by using manifolds. Manifold is costing about 60 to 70 rupees. And now we have devised methodology where you don't use the manifold. And so it will be 15 rupees less per grow bag. If you have 10,000 grow bags, means 1.5 lakh less. Further cost reduction is there when we did some experiment without the manifolds. What are manifolds and all that we'll show it to you. This is people use very big horsepower to my mind for eight acre of a poly house you need one and a half horsepower motor for eight acre of poly house just one and a half horsepower motor and you show me any farm in this country which is using like that every farm is having seven horsepower ten horsepower unnecessarily because the consultant has befooled them one and a half horsepower motor is sufficient to irrigate eight acre of hydroponic farming eight acre that is where you save a lot of money. But this pump is with a long head. There are two kinds of pumps available in the world. One is known as a long suction, which can suck from a long distance and throw at a little distance. And there are long head which can suck from very low distance and throw it up to 70, 80 meters. We don't need anything which need long suction because we are giving pure water to that from the tank. Mm -hmm. So why we should have a long suction? This is the irrigation controller. This is many companies make it. K rain we are using here. That's why I have written. And with this irrigation controller, you can feed 16 sections. Every poly house will have two sections. So eight poly houses of 200, 2000 square meter, one can take care. This has a rain sensor also. When the rain is there, it will stop. This particular K rain irrigation controller can control 16 section number one number two it can decide on which days should not be irrigated which days should be irrigated what time the irrigation should start what time the irrigation should end in between how many cycles five cycles 
for section 1, for section 2, two section for section 3, you can always decide on. Every section individually, if you want at any time to increase the irrigation, there is a manual override. You can manually operate, press one button and it will give manual irrigation also. This is what exactly, these are all important. I will ask you Radha Krishnan, why not do it? I can give you one, you can do the reverse engineering. I have a spare in Freedkot. You do the reverse because it cost about 35,000 rupees. And I am sure that if Indian will make it, it will be 10, 15,000. This is the irrigation controller. We will show it to you. Very easy to adjust, very easy to operate, very easy to automate. And you don't need lock it. No need to give access to the labor. This is our irrigation controller key. It is with me. And no labor has a control over it. I set it and I take responsibility. Because once you set it, it will never tell a lie. You tell the laborer to switch on the irrigation at 12 o'clock, he will stretch it on at 12.30. Bara baje kar diya tha sab mein on. Unless and until you have some method to find out ke kitne baje kiya tha. So this is where the automation is better than the human control. Then there are solenoid valves. This irrigation controller control the pump also. The moment pump is on, the moment the solenoid valve will open. And you time it, that first solenoid valve will open at 9 o'clock. Give irrigation for 15 days to one section. Then this solenoid valve controls, or oh, oh, closes, we'll show it to you. The other solenoid valve opens. And another 15 minutes, 10 minutes, whatever you want. Any section you can vary. It is as versatile as you can think. Then these are the normal valves which we control. Sometimes this is a manual ride over again. Sometimes you have to open the solenoid valve. So you need unions and valves because you will have to close one of the section or prepare it and then open it. So you will have, this increases the versatility of your system. It is not that it is a necessity, but it is very easy, cheap, 110 rupees, 120 rupees. So we have a lot of valves. This is a 40 mm. This is the start controller because I told you yesterday, these are electronic items. They operate on a very low voltage, but these are high voltage pumps. So this will fire this contractor and this contractor will control this so that there is no load coming onto the electronic item. Very simple. And these are all designed by us. I have not taken help of any electrician, any technical man. Just read it and did it.